Mark Rogers TV running through top recruits in high school football, um, most specifically uh, ESPN's top 300. We landed 274 in Daniel Bolden out of Colerain High School there in Cincinnati. Dan, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing just fine. So I appreciate you uh, taking the time this afternoon. Uh, we've got a situation where obviously you've completed your junior season. You're starting to get some offers in. And so you're working toward a senior season, plus trying to continue to impress some uh, uh, coaches and assistant coaches out there. So uh, in terms of your game at inside linebacker, what are you working on? Um, I think my speed sideline sideline, I mean, that always can 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 be improved because, I mean, running backs, the game's getting more spread out and everything, so you don't have to run with with, with slot wide receivers and everything. And um, I'm going to need to work on filling gaps. I feel I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now, but I need to I need to get it down quicker and and fill quicker and everything. I grew up in Ohio. It's been a while since I've lived there, but I know what Ohio high school football is all about. That's where I grew up. Uh, Cole Rain, obviously uh, – uh, a significant name there, so I'm I'm guessing you've had s uh, some pretty successful seasons there. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, my sophomore year we went to the the final four of the state playoffs. Last year we got knocked out week two of playoffs, and we we should have gone a little bit farther. We just we we made too many mental mistakes last year, and it, it cost us the game. So Daniel, how's the team looking for your senior season? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be young on defense. We lose, I think it's nine starters, eight or nine starters on defense. So we're gonna have to have some some young guys step up and and make plays next year. So that brings yeah. me to a leadership question. I'm guessing uh, you're one of the big guys on the team and providing that leadership. So how does that best come from you? Are you a vocal guy or do you just kind of lead by example? Uh, my dad has always taught me that that if you lead by example, you don't have to talk as much. But I find that sometimes that you need to. You need to be a little vocal and get get guys going and, and get them all hyped up. You can't always show what you got to do. You can you can tell them what needs to be done and then go do it. So it's one of the big things is is just being both. You need to have a little bit of both in. We're on the line with Daniel Bolden, 13th rated inside linebacker according to ESPN, 247 Sports as well, and is the top 33 position. Uh, Cincinnati, Florida, Atlantic, Iowa State at this point have uh, made offers. Uh, so what are you looking for in a school and a football program? Well, first off, um, on the education, uh, I, I want a degree from a school that once once I leave there is going to is gonna mean something when I walk into a job interview. And um, and second, it's, it's got to be got to be the coaches and everything and and where I see them and if they're going to stick around because I don't want to I don't want to go to a school and then a year later lose a head coach or lose my position coach. And then I'm stuck with with a guy that I that didn't really recruit me, so I don't know if he wants me there or not, or if if I even fit what he wants to do. So that's number two. And then number three would be, is it home? Do I do I feel like I belong there? Am I gonna am I gonna be able to have relationships on and off the field with the players and coaches, or is it just gonna be I'm I'm there and nobody really cares? It's just all about this and that, and I just want somewhere that feels like home. So in regards to uh, your decision, so some guys have already committed. Other guys have set a date. We talked to one guy who said, I'm going to make that decision on my birthday. Other guys obviously going to wait all the way to the last minute on National Signing Day. Have you thought about that process? If, if you're going to set a specific date, or are you just going to kind of wait and, and feel it out? Well, um, I've talked to my parents about it a little bit, my, my family and everything. Um, and my dad says, you don't have to rush it. It's, it's your time. You make the right decision. Because I'm gonna, it, when it comes down to it, it's my decision. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to live with it for the next four years, and and I want it to to be the right decision. I don't, I don't want to get an offer and then get too excited and just commit right away, and then figure out, hey, maybe I don't want to go there, or or maybe there's a coaching change, or or something happens where where I don't want to go there anymore, or or something changes. I don't want to be stuck in that situation where I have to decommit. And it makes me look like I don't. I never wanted to be there to begin with. So I, I just, I don't want to set a date or anything or a specific time. I just want to make the decision when it, when it feels right for me. Well, like you said, you got close to 11 months to figure this thing out. It sounds like you've got a great support system with your dad and the rest of your family in place uh, to bounce uh, ideas and, and thoughts and perspective off of. So you're in a good situation, in a good place. You're obviously bringing football talent, but also want a strong academic situation as well. So I'm sure you're going to make the right decision when the time comes.
Uh, Daniel Bolden, uh, top 13 linebacker, according to ESPN, on the inside. Uh, Daniel, we appreciate the time. All right, thanks for having me on.